experimental errors. An error is the difference between the measured value and the actual value. There are two main types of experimental error in measurement, namely systematic error and random error. Systematic errors are errors caused by the condition of the measuring instrument or the state of the environment in which the measurement are taken. Systematic errors can be classified into two category. First one is an accurate calibration which occurs, for example if the electronic balance has been calibrated 0.05 gram too high, then, all the measurements of mass will give reading in excess of 0.05 gram. Zero error occurs, when measuring instrument does not exactly start from zero. Here are two possible zero errors, that may be apparent in analog stopwatches, when their pointer should be pointing to the zero mark. Stopwatch A, shows a zero error of plus 0.1 second, in order to compensate for the error, all readings taken with this stopwatch, should be adjusted by deducting 0.1 second, from the actual reading. Stopwatch B, shows a zero error of minus 0.2 second, in order to compensate for the error, all readings taken with this stopwatch, should be adjusted by adding 0.2 second, from the actual reading. Random errors, are errors due to the experimenter's inability, to take the same measurement in exactly the same way, to get the exact Parallax error is a random due, to the incorrect positioning of the eye, when taking a reading. To avoid parallax error, the eye must look perpendicularly at the mark on the scale, while a reading is being taken. Figures show the correct way to read the scale on a meter rule. Electrical meters normally come with an anti-parallax mirror. To avoid parallax error, the position of the eye should be adjusted, so that the image of the pointer in the mirror, is directly under the pointer, in the correct position, the image of the pointer cannot be seen. Thank you for taking time to watch this.